Hello, this is Danny, and I want to tell you a little bit about my brand new mod pack called Integrated Progressions. This is a tech and magic pack. It's kind of a kitchen sink pack, but it's been rebalanced. So the recipes have changed, some items have been removed, some items have been customized in order to give you a little bit more of a balanced modded Minecraft experience. So the things that are really powerful are going to be more expensive. Things that are less powerful are actually going to be less expensive than they would be in a normal pack. We have a lot of mods that you're probably already familiar with like thermal expansion and actually additions. We've also got redstone arsenal. We've got Batania. We have immersive engineering. And then we also have this mod called the ultimate car mod. So we have vehicles in the game, um, both cars and airships. And then we also have these custom NPCs from the ancient warfare mod. We have a few other fun mods like Evil Craft, um, and I've done a, I've done a few things to kind of integrate Evil Craft with Batania. You do spawn with a couple of different books. First of all, we have this mod pack guide, which basically tells you all about the mod pack and the different what the mod pack is all about, and the fact that it is not an expert style pack. It is also not an HQM pack. This is a free play pack, and the recipes are not meant to be crazy expensive or crazy like hard or time consuming to do. They're just balanced out a little bit so um, things like creative flight are going to are balanced for later games so you're not going to be flying around right away in the beginning that's why we have these cars and airships this book will kind of tell you all about that so if you want to look at the mobility it's going to list the different ways of flight um, from kind of the less expensive stuff to the more expensive stuff oh. and it's also going to tell you about the vehicles that are available the airships and the uh, of course, minecarts, and then we have a few extra things like extra rails to help to give us some more minecart options, the cars, and then we have some gliders. And of course, we have lots of different storage options. As you can see, storage doors, hopper ducks, um, and we have extra additions, laser relays to move stuff around, and then we've got, of course, our thermal dynamics. We also have integrated dynamics and integrated tunnels, and um, RF tools, and then we also have refined storage. Now you will find that refined storage is definitely balanced for later game in this pack. It's going to require a little bit more work to get your refined storage system started. Although once you get it set up, it isn't really made that much more expensive. It just takes a while to kind of get started with refined storage. Um, and then we also have a lot of options for collecting resources. Of course, we have Tinker's Construct and we do have Steve's Carts. And Steve's Carts has been made a little bit less expensive in this pack um, just to make it a little bit more attractive and to balance it a little better with the other mods. Um, forestry, we've got Industrial Four going. Again, we have actually additions and immersive engineering. <laughs> and I mentioned the garden cloche here um, because that is made much more expensive in this pack because it is a lot more powerful than the other farming tools. And then, of course, we've got a lot of the same, same mods available for mining and this book does kind of order the things so that the cheapest and most inexpensive stuff is first and then our more expensive and more powerful stuff comes later so it's kind of roughly ordered by progression um, and then of course we've got some mob grinding options the whole idea of this pack is to level things out so that when you're looking at different options there isn't just going to be one option that's going to be like oh this is the cheapest the easiest and the most powerful option you're going to be looking at a lot of different options and you're going to have to kind of think about hey would i rather go with this method in order to get creative flight would i rather go with that method and then you're also going to spawn with an akashic tome with all of the mod books <laughs> i've just decided that i'm going to include all the mod books right from the spawn so that you don't have to wait to pay for them or have them automatically appear in your inventory and have your inventory filling up with a bunch of mod books um, you just spawn with these three and you can actually put the mod pack guide in the Akashic Tome as well so if, you, if you're not familiar with this mod the Akashic Tome basically lets you store a bunch of books in a single item so that you can then read your you know, Lexica Botania um, like so <laughs> and then when you left click in the air it turns back into the Kashuk Tome and then you can grab one of your other books. This mod pack is available in the Twitch app. It is a curse mod pack. If you have a Twitch account and you have the Twitch application you can just go under mods and Minecraft and then browse all mods and type integrated whoops integrated progressions um, you can also look under my name, Danny, and you'll find that pack along with a few other packs that I do. And then you just click to install it. I have, it says play for me because I already have it installed. Um, what you might not know is that you can also install 
curse mod packs using multi MC. So if you don't have a curse account or you don't want to screw around with the curse app, you can use multi MC, add an instance, and import a mod pack. And what you do is you put the URL to the file that you want to download. So if we go to CurseForge and we go to integrated progressions, you know, again, we can search integrated <laughs> at CurseForge and we'll find our mod pack here. We go to files. And we go to the version that we want. So if we want to download this version, we can right click the download file and say copy link address, and then go back to multi MC and paste that address in there. And then we click OK. And it's going to download all the mods for you. And it's going to install the correct version of Forge. And it's going to set up the correct version of Minecraft and everything for you. OK, so it finished. It just called call it download. But a couple of things we want to make sure we do. Um, we want to edit this instance. And we want to go under settings, and we want to make sure that we're giving this thing enough memory. This mod pack is going to require at least four gigabytes of memory, and I usually give it like I usually give it six. Five is probably enough, um, and the minimum memory I'll usually make that one gigabyte. And we close that, and maybe we can rename this to Integrated Progressions. And that's it with it with multi MC. And then in the curse app, you're going to want to do the same thing. So under your settings, you're going to go to settings, you're going to go to Minecraft, and you're going to tell it that we want to give Minecraft about 6,144 megabytes. So somewhere in this range, um, probably at closer to the higher end, you're going you're to want at least four gigabytes. I will be playing this pack in a stream series on my Twitch channel. So if you want to come and see what it's all about, you're definitely welcome to do that. Or you can just download it and play it yourself, or you can do both or whatever. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, feel free to leave them on the CurseForge project page. And if you run into any problems, I also have an issue tracker on the project page. So you can report your, your bugs or whatever there. So thanks for watching.